Hello and welcome to another ASC Productions video. Today we have a new laptop. Super excited about this one. This is one I went out, spent my money on to show you guys. This is the next generation of Lenovo IdeaPad 100 series. It's the 11, 11 inch model. So it is the IdeaPad, and <laughs> this is impossible to read in these colors. It's IdeaPad 111 GL05. So again, this is the 11.6 inch model. It is the upgrade from my IdeaPad 130S. So uh, what I've done is I've had this about a day. I've done a little bit of playing around with it, not a whole lot. The first thing I do with every laptop is I open it up. First things first, with the old 130S, you had these, if the camera will focus. Come on. Focus. There you go. You have these terrible Torx bits. These are awful. I hate them. My least favorite bit on a computer case to open it up. The new ones have. Let's see if they'll focus. A uh, Phillips. Yay. So that is one big upgrade for me. Let's go ahead and open it up. There's 10 of those puppies on here. But once you have those off, it's not too bad to open up. Set that to the side. So what do we got going on here? We have a 4200 amp hour battery right there, 4210 milliamp hours. It is a big battery. We have the CPU memories under here somewhere. I have not taken this off yet. You can see the sticker is still sealed. We won't be doing that in this series yet. I've already tested it and performance and I'm happy with it. I don't feel like I need to do anything about that just yet. But you see right here, we have another spot for an M.2, but no connector. Why do they not put the connector on there? So I spent some time. I went online. This, um, as far as I can tell, is an, uh, an M key M.2 drive. And so I purchased two. I purchased one that was a 3.2 millimeter and a 4.2 millimeter in height and see which of those fits and see if we can't solder that on because why? All right, so this is what it looks like inside. Let's pull over the 130S just to compare the two. So the 130 has a slightly smaller battery. It is, where is it on here? It's a 4100 milliamp hour. Where does it say that? I found it earlier. Am I blind? There it is. So it's a 4140 instead of a 4210. So slightly smaller battery. Uh, heat sink is bigger, but it is aluminum versus copper. The speakers are in about the same location on either side there. Overall, it's a very similar design. One thing with this though is the it also has this slot for like an M.2, but I couldn't find a connector that connected there. I searched high and low, but could not find one that I could solder there. So the new one at least has a more familiar style connector for me. So that's the old one. This is a new one. So that's really the extent of this video. We'll just open this up, take a look at the inside. I will be doing a full review on this laptop here in the next coming week or so. If you have any specific questions about this or want to see anything specific about it, let me know. There's one other thing I wanted to cover real quick on the laptop, take it apart. You see here on the old one, the only vents in the bottom are for the speakers. On the new one, here are the speaker vents, but there's also this vent here. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> it's just a piece of copper, uh, which I think is hilarious. So. Those vents, while they look like they should do something, do nothing. I wish that meant that there was a faster system that could be put in here, but it doesn't. Like if I could get a Pentium or something in here, like a four core Pentium that's still passively cooled in this form factor, I would be so happy. But they only offer this with the base level Celeron. And I believe also 
a base level AMD in a processor I've already tested, but this is it for now. And we'll, again, be do, doing some more testing with this. You'll see that video in the next week or two. And let me know if you have any questions. And if they come out with a faster model of this, you bet uh, I'll be looking at that as well. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.